listen up. No. He's doing right, an so accent. Okay. What we're doing tonight, uh, we're going to be going for the command relay station. Command relay station is in the northeast of the map, guys. Pull your maps up, everybody. Do it for me. It's going to be a G315. Uh, we already have one squad up there uh, per the helicopter. Uh, that's a special forces squad. They're going to be securing the comm relay station to prevent the militia team from transmitting their nonsense propaganda. Um, from them securing that, we will be reinforcing them with the other three squads. Um, Aethel squad, I know you're a little white right now, but Aethel squad will be landing on the five mark guys on that crossroads and directly going to the compound to reinforce. Um, after that, um, the second helicopter uh, actually, the first helicopter, it would be Phoenix. Phoenix's helicopter would be landing at G462, where the three move marker is, next to the five mark on the south. That would be Bag of Joe's squad. Bag of Joe's squad would be securing the southern perimeter around the comm relay station. And then that leaves Scottish's squad. Scottish's squad would be landing again uh, where the first squad landed, up northeast on the five mark at the crossroads. Scottish's squad is responsible for the northern security of the comms relay station um, check your map for the observe mark that's where Scottish squad will be defending so there'll be two squads on point guys at the comm relay there'll be a squad to the south and a squad to the north uh, the objective once we take the comm relay station which we will take it will be setting down a fob there those of you that are there there'll be a fob that'll go down um, everybody else will be just defending and holding their position and creating crossfire attempts to prevent them from assaulting it directly um, the objective overall is to eliminate all the enemies, guys. So I hope you all have fun. Everybody gets to ride in a helicopter today. Uh, make sure you guys don't talk when you're in the helicopters. Listen to the crew chiefs and everybody else that's in there. I don't know if I have a crew chief, actually. But just listen to the pilots. Keep it down low for the pilots. Listen to your squad leaders. Uh, everybody have a good time. That's all. I am so now, happy. Can I get, uh, can I get, some, can I get some chest bumps, bros? Chest bumps. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bomb. Helicopter spinning up here. And we're going to be going live here in just a few seconds. We'll be seeing that broadcast from the admin shortly. Here goes Money Man. We're gonna follow Money Man North. As he drives through Bataha. A little bit of lag going on here, but some modern Mutaha. Um, I guess so. There's no, like, I don't think there's, like, a night layer for Mutaha that's in the game, so this is kind of sort of the closest thing we have to it. It's a super foggy, spooky thing. Phoenix is going past the other direction. And oh, we can also see the uh, Special Forces. We also have in the distance, looks like, part of that team that started in the middle. They're rolling straight north to the communication center. All the, uh... All the activity here would probably mean that we're going to be seeing some insanity here. These, uh, four guys are going to try to get into the communications outpost. It's not going to work out for them. Meanwhile, let's check the, uh, operators here. Do they get suppressed rifles? They do... Oh, but it looks like they're just in force. All right. So these guys get in fours, and while the other British forces are going to have uh, their own standard rifles. Vehicles moving across the north. They're chasing. They're absolutely chasing oh, this is not not great. the helicopters. Yeah, affirm. Meanwhile, point one going to be getting placed here very shortly. Looks like the entire squad for two here, this is Dorf completing this squad, are going to be shifting north here. Wander Death Alpha Guido, Eclipse, New Jersey, and uh, Lord Chaka holding short 
in this uh, in this little grove. Hopefully it's not too dark, actually. Did I do something dumb? No. My game is at 2-6. I should be fine. Right, Scott, this is you. Uh, you Meanwhile, uh, looks like the transport is driving an entire squad of oddballs north. Go get Scott. And this is part of the ops mod, uh, hey, Death Gun. Uh, Berg, they have a suppressor because we added the suppressor because we created the class for them. So operators have suppressors, they have additional explosives, they have additional smokes. But I think they also carry one more bandage than a standard soldier. The suppressors are pretty strong here. Phoenix doing a pinnacle touchdown on top of a roof, I think. And he is getting shot. Cyber clone is dead. Daniel dies, he drops off. Oh no, multiples. Yuri, Frenzy, Eslo, they all dead. Oh no. An entire half a squad is dead. Just Manacle, Bagajo, and Zaki. Yuri. Yuri's given up, so he's not going to be able to get up. Oh no. That's horrible. Brita, uh, INS forces in the south here are responsible for that. And then there's an entire squad north. Oh no. <laughs> and Money Man's gonna put him down right in front of an enemy squad. Helicopters actually damaged significantly here. Aegon's dead as he comes out of the helicopter. Tinkerbell's been hit. Money Man's gonna drive the helicopter away from here. Aegon's dead. Tinkerbell is gonna have to deal with bleeding here, and INS forces in the north. Oh, Yuri. Yuri, uh, looks like uh, when you guys got dropped off on the roof there, that, um, you got spawned in. You got spawned into the rotors of the helicopter. Too many people dropping off at once. Very similar to what we saw in the last version of Squad. British forces here are attempting to suppress Chinese forces to the north, to their northeast. Oh my gosh! Meanwhile, Dorf has a fire team ready to breach the compound. Modern Death Chanka. Eclipse and Alpha Guido have actually made it up on the hill. Hey, so can you cover north? I'm gonna Big cover yikes. North. Modern, this is not good. British are going to be way too dense here for this area. And Fulcrum needs to get his guys out here. They know grenades are coming up and over, but with the amount of raiders on, the amount of raiders on INS, that's going to be a ton of grenades. Warrior 5-6 eats a grenade as it's thrown against the main building of the compound. British and Liberal Pundit is dead to Eclipse there. INS starting to swarm from all directions. Dorf has a fire team way to the southeast. And MM, there's some sort of MG. Whoa, and uh, Aslo gets blown apart by an IED there from one of the sappers. Phoenix taking some significant fire. Fulcrum, I think, placed a time charge and kills three of his friendlies. Um, big yikes right now. Lots of casualties here. It's not good. More communication needed to happen there. Right now, INS are engaging to the northwest, the northeast, and the southeast. They're starting to maneuver here, but British forces... Kind of have a pretty good situation right now. More IEDs being placed on the uh, south wall to the communications compound. I think Alpha took a significant hit there, but he's still doing okay. Ronan and Phoenix are in the helicopter circling around. They're looking for people to shoot right now. 
Ronan's in the gun. Starting to take significant. The Dishka has killed Phoenix and Ronan. That is British Command dead as the helicopter comes crashing down inside the compound. Dishka technical taking it down. It has gone pear shaped for British right here, but they have all their guys on the position. They're just gonna have. They're gonna have to. They're gonna have to deal with a direct insurgent assault, assault right here. One kill for British right now. Out of all of that, one kill for British, 12 kills for Mill. Unfortunate that British have lost their command so early on. And they lost one of the helicopters. A l big uh, INS push here. Alpha Guido getting ready to uh, come straight through. IED. Oh, that was a um, time charge from British forces. Blows Alpha Guido away. Second one would have almost blown more INS up, but they fell back. Try to get into the, the outpost itself, like the comrade. Burns on command? But don't do it if you don't feel like you can't get in there, right? I want you guys to take that. Wait, I thought Ronan was dead. Oh no, assaults killed two friendlies. Bagus and Snowfall are dead. Absolute pear shape for British forces right now. Red of his Heartbreaker, Tails, Zaki. Revy is just now bled out. Bartok just TK'd Modern Death uh, for INS. I think there was a little bit of miscommunication. I think Bartok threw a grenade and it just didn't land well. It's going pretty bad right now, I gotta say. Uh, 18 kills for INS, 4 kills for British. British holding their own in the north, but they are getting shredded because there's just they're coming from all sorts of directions. Uh, Groot, CPN kills uh, CPN Captain Morgan kills Groot and then gets tapped in the back by Chicken Aim and Oz. Macho Man, Randy, and Hawk are the only ones left holding the northeast. Heartbreaker and Redibus holding northwest. No one's coming this direction. Meanwhile, INS are in the compound. Dwarf Squad plus enemy plus other. Folks in here throwing grenades, trying to get in here. It's just Zaki and Viral Chain holding the communications building proper. There's only six British near and around the compound. There's only six British alive right now. There's only six British alive right now. Um, am I missing anyone? No, there's only six British alive. Northeast, westbound. Chanka is setting a charge here, I think. That might have enough vertical reach to hit Zaki. If Zaki doesn't run away from this uh, corner that he's in. Zaki gets away in time. Here's the chime going off. Redibus gets run up by Bacon Batman just runs over Redibus. Heartbreaker taking some shots from D Leak. He's stuck between a rock and a hard place and he bleeds out two bullets. Down to two British remain or four British remaining. Two in the north, two on the point. And Zaki gets killed here. No, there's no one on the point anymore. Uh, the INS have stormed the communications outpost. And now they're looking for the radio. They're going to go upstairs to the top and clear it off. There's two British remaining um, here in the round one. Oh my gosh. What I thought was going to be a cheeky play to take this outpost pretty quickly. I mean, think about it. There's a squad that was on the north. Hawk gets shot up here by Nightmare Frost. Muffinator eats it there. Uh, Imanaz is now looking for Macho Man. In response, and it's the last British kill here. Just a tremendous turn of events. 
Imanaz. Gonna throw this grenade here, and if it lands anywhere close to Matchman, there we go. That's gonna be GG. All British forces are dead. Uh, inside of about 15 minutes here. Um, it's like it's been 12 minutes. So that's round one of uh, Black Cat. There's some moving parts. It's kind of simple, but pay attention. Off of live, we're going to have Bacon Squad, the Special Forces Squad, load up into this helicopter to my right. That is going to be Money Man's helicopter. Uh, and then we will have Oddball Squad load up in this helicopter to my left. This will be Phoenix's helicopter. They will be flying to their drop-off points, either here or here on the five marks. And they will proceed to the intersection to their north. We will have Bacon Squad with the helmet mark. Squad name is True Facts, by the way. The along with Oddball Squad with the marksman marks on this corner of the intersection. They'll probably have fire team in each corner. They'll protect, they'll s secure the area, and we'll get a fob down in this building. I'll probably be the one to put it down. I'm going in the first wave. Really, we'll just hold out there. After Phoenix and Money Man have dropped off the first wave, they will re be returning back to our infantry. Dash be getting last minute confirmation of his mission. Might be changing some details on the fly. Hope everyone's paying attention. I see lips moving, but no audio. Comms. Hey, We're talking to Command. Hush. Sorry, yeah, no. I have to. Yeah, I okay. I've been informed that the Special Forces Squad in the helicopter lags out the server. So. Alright. They will be taking. The, um, a transport truck, they'll be doing the same thing, they're just not going to be flying. Uh, okay. I don't know if we should be on the, I don't know if we should be on the west side then. We're, we're not going to make it there in time. Should just spawn them on point. Yeah, oh, it's... Okay, we're going to change this up. Some logistics being changed Oddball here Patrick, behind the scenes. Guys are going in the helicopter. Oddball, you're with Phoenix mm. in this one. Mm -hmm. Money Man, mm. or sorry, Patrick, you're with Money Man in this other helicopter. Same thing. You guys fly in there, secure the four corners. Whatever job Bacon was doing, Patrick's doing. The helicopters will come back, pick up Dwarf Squad, who will be running across the desert, and then Dwarf, and then they'll get dropped off probably. Same spot, they'll move to whatever corner we're taking contact, if any. Reinforce the fences there. Special Forces Squad, I guess, they'll just, they'll be driving. In a transport. And then they'll, once they get there, they'll reinforce them. It's basically like that scene in Black Hawk Down, where they're protecting the downed helicopter in the square. Just imagine that there's a helicopter in the intersection. If you don't want to imagine, we can give you one. Please no. <laughs> um, yeah, I was about to say. I need volunteers for the gunners. Oh. We can I'll any any squad really. Thank you. Helicopter one spinning up here. Uh, we're gonna be live in about two seconds. Everyone rolling off. So, one squad inserting on foot, one squad inserting via helicopter. Second halo is now spinning up at main. Two helos, one map, guys. Believe in... Believe in your dreams and they'll come true. There's a double helo all the way across the sky. inserting from the south now. They're going to be pretty unopposed. They're going to be pretty unopposed when it comes to inserting into the, 
the objective here in Echo 5 1, Echo 5 4. Game looks nice. Well, I think it's worth getting. I've had a lot of fun playing the game over the past few years. Ooh, this is even spicier. Look, the helicopter's sitting down way south of the objective. The objective here in Echo 5 4. Of course, we are seeing motorcycles and all the vehicles rolling through. So infantry on foot is going to be a big... It's going to be up to British to really get into it right now. Second helicopter now coming into land. This is the designated gunship. Phoenix has a couple of door gunners that are going to be... Um, that he's going to be using to help provide fire support. And it looks like uh, Money Man is going to grab uh, Dwarf Squad here. The, uh, spe the Special Forces are still on their way. They're going to hit the main highway here shortly. Looks like Root took a little bit of damage jumping out of the helicopter here. Unfortunate. And Dishka's engaging Phoenix. Rounds flying over. Looks like the heli is going to be out of range to be effectively engaged. Yep, it flies over, click away. The Dishka stops. So, INS, two squads inserted north of the main point here. Either side of the road. And the Dishka taking shots at British as they themselves cross the road to the west side of the road. Pretty clean insert here from British, and they're already, matter of fact, Raf Patrick's, uh, Raf and Ajakan have actually made it to their rooftop objective here. Holding one of the four corners that they're gonna need. I think Dr. Jet is right in chat. That's a very, very astute observation here. Uh, the last infantry squad now being inserted. Helicopter taking shots here. Phoenix is going to turn away and fly away. More shots in the tail. Looks like some damage to the helicopter. Significant damage, but I think it's okay. And Money Man also going to fly out. Phoenix now trailing smoke. Unfortunate for him, but... Um, British forces. Looks like taking casually as well. Alright, they're breaching gas station. Raph is also here by himself. The entire squad has taken up uh to push him here. Raph all it's all Raph can do to basically stabilize himself. forces we're cutting out I understand you where do you want my squad I want you across the road east side of the road south of the south and north of the radio please fire team over here on, FXF tails has one of the dish technicals on me over here Focus on my building. On the west side one of the new dish technicals added in this last update. Oh, no it isn't. It doesn't have a shield on it. Never mind. Take a look at the map right here. Looks like Raph's still living. Lots of smokes here. Assault is getting pinned to this little small wall here. He's gonna find another way around. 
All the smoke's being added by uh, Raf here to try to get his guys moved up to the north side of the road. The special forces have actually placed several... What are they doing? Ran into the thick of the mage can? Yeah, they just ran into you, is what really happened. You guys got there safely, it just didn't end up, uh... You just... Unlikely there. Egan and Sugar Trade. Captain Morgan and Shaky Legs gonna fight now. Shaky Legs gets tagged by one of the PPSH rounds. Shaky Legs can't seem to find Captain Morgan here. Rope a Pelican. Oh, Cap Shaky Legs and Captain Morgan Trade as Shaky Legs moves to the uh, store. Moves to the uh, stairs. Looks like uh, Phoenix coming back through with his uh, gunners and his helicopter. D-League and Bartok now moving up. D-League gonna take the stairs. Bartok getting shot up by Hawk. Has to dive behind some cover. D-League now on the roof. Ooh, Bartok almost gets hit by a grenade there. Small arms fire on the helicopters as they're both they're still sort of orbiting. The weirdest way. Matter of fact, the Dishka's now shooting in the helicopters at range. Oh my gosh. That's actually real life. Um... Hawk killed by D-Leak across the road. Dude, they're fucking on top of us. Holy shit. I think, uh, rather Scottish champ actually took some shots at D-Leak here. D-Leak's gonna put down a charge and he's gonna run away. A little bit of covering fire as he comes back into this courtyard to the south. Rubber Pelican heard that place and he's gonna run away as well. Smart awareness. As, um, as Op4, you can hear when Blue 4 is planning their time charges. Time charge detonates and D League runs back in to reassume the position. Meanwhile, in the west, helicopter adding, trying to add fire support here as. Um, let's see who's in charge of the squad. Aethel has a squad over here. And they are slowly but surely coming up on the hill. Grenades being thrown in the middle of the INS forces pushing up. Chicken and Imanaz. Two holding off a fire team plus. Kind of a tall order? I have to say so. Imanaz can definitely... Imanaz can definitely get it though. Chicken again as well, so... And they are falling back inside the compound here. They're looking for people to jump walls. They're looking through murder holes. Chicken's actually falling back a little bit more. I think he's going to try to catch up with uh, Goon and Groot over here. Or maybe he's trying to find a way up on this roof to get to this compound. Which would be pretty smart. Aethel squad now pressing even more. The four corners plan not happening. For INS right now. Fulcrum gets zipped from, I think, his southwest. I could be wrong. What does that sound? Weird. Some sort of... static there. Helicopters just, um... living life to provide fire support from far. That's Grunt in there with Money Man. I think Grunt may be taking some fire there. Even as an entire squad has actually fallen upon them, even as through the hole has hit Redibus. And even as takes a bullet as well. Even as decides he wants to run away to uh, grab a bandage real, qu real quick. Intersection has a radio on it now. Oh, Groot gets tapped from somewhere. With the radio down, I guess INS have to push this radio now, but British aren't in a real strong position to support it. INS just need to organize themselves and it'll get pretty bad for them. Minus repositioning. The squad that was to the east is now flanking around. They've taken the uh, lower uh, part of the river over here. 
they're going to come behind and reinforce their forces directly from the north. Patrick I Star guess. taking some shots at Lightning Light. Pony. Kind of blind. I think oh, he's okay. just tired I, of I, getting I, shot at. Ooh, Dishka gauging Phoenix's helicopter directly takes a significant amount of damage here. Where's that other helicopter? Oh, it's directly above me. Grunt and Money Man trying to AC-130 this. It's kind of amazing. They're on a pretty slow... Uh, a pretty slow orbit here. Matter of fact, even... They're trying to hit uh, Tails and Snowfall here. I don't think Tails is able to get enough elevation on that... Um, on that Dishka. No, oh, maybe he is. But he'd get even more elevation on it if he puts himself on a hill. This could be a real perfect position for him if he decides he wants to turn up and actually go around at that helicopter. British forces trying to shift a little bit more west here to support their FOB. It's kind of not working for him. 11 kills British, 13 kills INS right now. It's still pretty close. It's the only one's game. And there's significant helicopter assets for British that INS still need to overcome. What is this? Phoenix doing a low flyby. Dishka of Snowfall uh, hitting the... Oh, it's hitting the top. That's significant damage to the helicopter. Phoenix is about to go down. More Dishka rounds as it uh, egresses to the east here. It needs to go back to rearm or, s or repair or something. Might actually pop. Looks like it's on fire. And it looks like they are going to put down. Yep, they are burning up. They're going to put down in this field here. Or maybe Modern Death of the Harvest is going to put down this field here. Harvest actually hit. That might be one of the reasons why they put down. Car bandages, and he's gonna hop back into the uh, helicopter. I imagine. Maybe they're gonna take it back to the main and get it repaired, or not. They're just gonna hang around there and just do their thing. Meanwhile, INS not making a lot of progress. The north side of INS not making a lot of progress. The west side, however, they're making a little end around. Around Athol's squad, Athol's broken up from his squad, but he's got a fire team, pretty strong position here. In right next to the road, just south of the road. And it looks like Ibanez and Chicken kind of sort of just waiting it out here. Ibanez probably has a line on Aethel. I think he I think he has a line on that Dishkateki. Uh, Tails has actually gotten out of the gunner seat for that Dishkateki. I think they're just looking to make shots on the helicopters. Wonder if they'll take a chance at uh, Money Man's helicopter as it passes over the area right now. Doesn't look like they All will. Right, I'm strong. Okay. Doesn't appear to be happening. Uh, two is uh, more effective. I've got one person on the objective. Uh, comp. Two Hot people ball. to the west. Mm -hmm. Try and consolidate all your guys in or around that building you're on. Same for you, Patrick. Ooh, beef baby. It's popped here. Maybe a Cardi responsible for that. Cardi's gonna throw a grenade. They are northwest of my building. Patrick Star getting uh I see the smoke. Command, we can sell to the west if you need. Getting spotted here. We risk we don't have as many bodies protecting the radio then. How many how many does radio safe? Radio safe? I don't know. 
Bacon. Dwarf is on the radio. Yeah, I'll be around around south to get around. I'm not your I think I see a head 350 Lex. But shoot it, shoot it. I can't get a... Ooh. Oh. Assault's peeking at Cozio. Dash B, apparently we've got enemies coming in from the southwest of my position. Yep. So Lex is going to take a shot at Assault. Under the tent. Yeah. Um, you should be looking at eyes on any of them. I mean... Lots of smokes here. Our INS gonna try to move up here? Kinda looks like it. Looks like the INS forces that were north are trying to rejoin the attack here and they are uh going. Lost my gunner? Oh what? Oh no. Harv dies. Phoenix is going down hard. You've been forced to land. Phoenix is gonna have to ditch that helicopter and run away if he wants to live. Phoenix doing okay for health, but his helicopter ain't gonna last very long. He needs he's gonna try to repair it, I think. Hmm. Can he out repair the damage? Looks like he might be able to. So it's just Money Man and Grunt. Anywhere in a possible third round? I don't know, actually. That's something I can try to look into here. It's certainly something I try to look into. Head busted in the dishka, putting rounds on Money Man's helicopter. Front not able to uh, really re-engage here. Helicopter has bugged out to the west. Or sorry, the east. I know my directions, guys. I know my directions, guys. Command, that drop-off point is no good. It's not happening. No. Okay. Inus, uh, continue circling then. starting to make some more progress here in the northwest, but it's not really gone that fast. Inus playing it very slow. Yo, I've an enemy SL in a uh, fortification trench network, Echo 542. If we Echo could hit eight. that with uh, machine gun fire from the helis. Okay, I think we pretty much. And it looks like they might be the unopposed to push to the uh, to the intersection. It looks like Phoenix. Oh, no, sounds like Phoenix able to repair his Phoenix, helicopter. Aethel and Tails trading please. rounds, trading Both grenades with Chicken and Imanaz. Looks like uh, okay. Clamar and Clay J over here investigating as well. Ooh, and Dishka firing. Great chicken. You got contact close east. I do. Is the Dishka trying to fire at Patrick Star? Oh no. It's landing really close to our cardi. What is Headbusta doing? Headbusta gets shot out of the gunner seat of his, uh, the gunner's position and the technical. Uh, right before he team kills someone, so good job, British. Yeah, Meanwhile, British now being surrounded on three sides, the intersection only holding one. Of course, that's where the radio is. Dwarf gets killed in the middle of the street. Big yikes. Zaki's gotten into the technical. Looks like he's shifted it a little bit down to the road, then he got out of it. Yeah, Platonic. When we post a, uh, we, we don't post basics to the calendar until we have, um, instructors good to go on instructing them. So, keep an eye on the calendar. We usually try to get a basic in every week. Standard times, you can find them in the SOT Help channel. Um, 
pinned to the stop belt shot help channel in the uh, Discord or the standard times we run basics. Meanwhile, Aethel's lost his buddy over here and looks like he's operating by himself. Demonaz might be taking some shots at Aethel. Aethel's trying to run away. He's crawling. Ooh, some of those rounds are pretty close. Just a little bit more fire discipline. Aethel will be gone. Gonna post more postscript in one life events. Um, at this point, I would imagine we'll try to run some in the future, but I don't know anything about specifics about when those are gonna happen. I think south. I'm not entirely I'm not entirely sure if we've uh, slowed down to stop offering them officially. Ooh, Lex gets zinged. Ina starting to poke at the compound where the radio is. Cozio, I think he just threw a grenade. Oh, he's throwing smokes. It's just Cozio and Zero Point really defending the objective on the objective. Uh, 16 kills Brits, 23 kill Ines. Renzi tried to come in here, he got tagged, went to the opposite wall. Because he is moving in to try to hold the inside angle here. And Phoenix just keeps getting picked on here. By the dish Kitekis. Compound with the radio in it. You can see by the hourglass uh, icon there. Zero points dead. Frenzy. Um, close to realizing he's cleared his compound here. Uh, looks like Daniel and Frenzy are the only ones left here. Daniel. He's going to work around the compound here. Rock eight, uh, 865. He's now the closest British soldier to the radio. Ooh, Chicken got zinged by Warrior and Revy here. He took down an SL and then a Rider class next to me. Patrick Star. Ooh, uh, I think he thought he killed Assault. Not the case. Assault's basically camping, waiting for him to come down the stairs. Uh, Daniel gets killed by Rock as Rock moves back in to take the objective area. Or actually, Alpha Guido might have been responsible for that. Alpha's got a sick position here. Look at this. He's basically holding the outside door to the objective. Rock's gonna rearm on the objective building. Frenzy and Aslo throwing a grenade over. Come down to Rock and Alpha Guido holding the objective. Rock is thinking about pushing back in. I think he's going to throw a grenade. Frenzy runs away from it just in time. Aslo and Frenzy... Oh, Frenzy gets, still gets a frag from it. Yoof. Revy and Warrior trying to push through. Assault got killed here. Another squad leader down. I think Aethel also just got killed. INS need to organize themselves, man. They're they're losing it. It's slipping out of their hand. INS just need to push, and that's what Scottish is trying to get to do, and platoon commander Ronan right behind them with the uh, Pelican here. comes down to Bacon and Patrick to try to lead the platoon right now. I think another guy just got killed. I think Lightning just got zinged from the helicopter of Money Man and Grunt. Yikes. Grunt is just slowly picking off INS forces that are in the open. Meanwhile, Alpha, Guido, and Rock are holding the objective tight. Um, let's take a look at the overhead here. 
try to make a little bit more sense here. Revy's still alive, but he's south of Patrick Star. Patrick is getting some blueberries to come fall back to him, part of the Special Forces squad. They're starting to make their way from the west to the east now. 24 kills British, 26 kills INS. about a squad-sized force line that's still in, active in the city. Phoenix doing the show of force fly over here. Brilliant. Alpha's repositioned. He's got some rounds on Tinkerbell as he's moving across. Alright. Well, that's what we think about that. That is true. There you go. Nice one, Alpha. Your patience has been rewarded. With a kill. Meanwhile, I think Frenzy heard that AR. Helicopter's now loitering pretty distinctly here. Grenades being thrown. I think that was towards Alpha. Oh no, <laughs> he overthrew the grenade at Alpha and killed a rather skittish chap. Now it's just Rova, Ronin and Rova Pelican on the ground trying to get themselves in here. Meanwhile, Patrick Starr and the rest of the Special, special Forces helmet on the west side of town have made their back, way back in. Aslo and Frenzy are going to be punished for holding out here by themselves. Is Macho Man Randy still up? I think he is. I think he may have taken some shots at Guido here. Guido fell down. That might have actually saved him. Ronan and the Rogue Pelican are still looking around here. Rogue Pelican coming around the corner. Oh no. Pelican jumps. <laughs> Alpha Guido gets in. Someone died over there, Aslo. If it wasn't for the helicopters, Alpha Guido would have heard Rogue Pelican make that vault there. Running up Rover Pelican, coming down. They're gonna push a little bit to the west here. And Aslo's dead. It looks like he probably got killed by a helicopter. I wasn't entirely sure. Ooh. Ronan setting a, uh, sending a charge there. Doesn't get anyone for it though. Macho Man Randy is still thinking about joining the fight here. Uh, Bartok and Bacon, I think, took some shots at Robo Pelican and Ronan. Down to three INS, four INS remaining here. Oh no, TK. Clay J sets a charge down, kills Clamar. Ronan's gonna throw a blind grenade, I think. Alpha Guido's dead. Watch man starting to join the fight here. He needs to get to more cover before the helicopters spot him. Ronan and Pelican are gonna shift south here. Running away from Bacon Batman. Kind of lucky that they were able to get away there. Bacon has this uh, second floor level here. And dodges an IED. Grunt in the helicopter. Phoenix flying over. Um, Grunt is pretty much idling. Trying to get shots. Our oh, money man's idling. He's taking shots at Robo Pelican. Robo Pelican gets hit. Robo Pelican goes down. Second burst shows out of Ronan. Ronan is stuck. He has to hide under the concrete roof. Macho Man is starting to clear up and get closer to Ronan here. Meanwhile, Revy is stuck on the west side of the road, unable to do much. He is starting to play push here, though. He's got to push across the street, get to a space where the helicopters won't engage him. So far, so good. 
Ronan makes it, or Ronan makes it to the wall. Ronan on the roof here is getting singed by the helicopter and finally goes down. Meanwhile, Revy runs straight past Bartok, and Bartok shoots him in the back. All down to Macho Man Randy here. Grenade a uh, little short on Randy. And Randy is gonna... I think he's trying to find who killed his commander. Um, he will soon find out is offering himself unto the gods of the helicopters, and... Oh. He thinks twice about it, maybe. What was that? Oh. Oh, the, um... Oh. Um, Hollywood comment? No. There's no reason for that to happen. Maybe the helicopter just burned up. But that doesn't make sense. I don't know. Phoenix lost control of the helicopter and he went down. Oh my gosh, it's now quiet. Oh my gosh, I can think now. Meanwhile, Munchman is about ready to run into the courtyard with Bartok in it. And bye bye, Munchman. Oh, Bartok. Please shoot him. And that's gonna do it. All that I nested did, and that's GG.